I've uh, chosen to do my performance management assignment on one of my workplaces, the First Step program. In the heart of St Kilda it's an addiction medicine clinic uh, specialising in uh, heroin historically, though dealing with uh, addictions to other, other drugs and alcohol also. We have a quite a varied workforce, there are doctors, psychologists, drug and alcohol workers, counsellors, lawyers, all sorts of people. Um, I chose to focus on the mental health nursing role and on uh, one mental health nurse in particular by the name of Donal McGoldrick. Uh, worked with Donal on establishing the KPIs, uh, trying to reach those KPIs within the given time frame and uh, this was not achieved at first so we um, uh, had some uh, coaching sessions and looked at what we thought, uh, what techniques would be useful to uh, to achieve those KPIs. So this report uh, summarises the work that, uh, that I did with Donal. Uh, on the first PowerPoint here we can see that um, we established two KPIs. Uh, by way of background, it's, uh, establishing KPIs in this area was really very difficult. It's very hard to come up with smarter KPIs. Uh, much of the work of mental health nurses, like you can imagine, for instance, a, a counsellor, is extremely difficult to uh, measure. You can um, look at things like a success rate in terms of uh, people not using drugs but that also is hard to measure and requires on personal testimony or um, blood or urine tests it's all very complicated and if you did make that a KPI you would probably um, inadvertently discourage your mental health nurses from working with people with particularly entrenched problems because it would be very difficult for them to uh, to achieve their KPIs working with that particular patient cohort so what we focused on was a very much a um, one of the recording mechanisms that's that's a natural part of the workflow. Uh, when our nurses work with uh, work with patients at the first step program, they're obliged to record uh, at every session what we call a GCOS, which is a global clinical outcome score. It's a score from one to eleven that indicates, broadly speaking, how well the person the person is travelling in terms of their rehabilitation. Uh, with one meaning that they're uh, taking their medications, they're free from their drug of addiction. And it's not exactly a clear scale from 1 through to 11, uh, but that's not really relevant to this assignment because the KPI here was that in 90% of the consultations that figure is recorded. It's not a matter of what the, what the score is, but that it is actually recorded. And we have a database uh, that we record that on, and the database can very easily and reliably tell us whether or not it's been recorded. Uh, we also record another score, um, uh, which is called the HONOS score, Health of Health of Our Nation Outcome Score, um, which has to be recorded within the first three visits of seeing a new patient. This is a requirement uh, not of our workplace, but in fact of Medicare that pays the wages of the mental health nurses. Within the first three appointments of seeing a new patient, they're required to do this quite comprehensive HONOS score. Um, just for interest's sake, I'll point out that a HONOS is quite a complicated thing, looking at different factors of a person's life. GCOS is just a snapshot and it's quite easy to capture. Those two factors did affect uh, Donal's ability to, to reach the KPIs. So we've said GCOS recorded in 90% of consultations. So really we aim for 100, but occasionally we, we, we don't get them all. So we've given a little bit of leeway there. And uh, HONOS for 90% of patients have that within the first three weeks. Again, the goal is 100, but we're giving a bit of leeway. Maybe a couple of the, those first appointments won't be very long, or maybe the uh, patient won't be very cooperative, or they might have to leave halfway through or something like that. So, uh, this is how we travelled. Um, when we first measured these scores at the first performance appraisal, uh, on the GCOS score, um, Donald had only recorded GCOSs in 42% of his uh, appointments or consultations, as opposed to 90%. This was clearly um, a long way short of the KPI. Um, disappointing, I suppose. And the HONOS score, as opposed to having 90% of his patients recording one of them in the first three appointments, uh, he'd only achieved that for 56% instead of 90%. So uh, both those outcomes fell pretty much 50% below where they should have been. So in, a, in the performance appraisal, uh, we identified three particular areas where uh, Donald may have been falling short. I'm getting slightly ahead of myself. Um, my PowerPoint is telling me that I need to mention the relevant policies for this whole uh, performance management 
process and uh, effectively sort of um, discipline or appraisal process and uh, you'll see in my assignment I've submitted a performance review policy as well as a disciplinary policy and a staff uh, code of conduct. The code of conduct is not particularly relevant in Donald's case but certainly it is an area um, that can lead to um, an indicator that, that there needs to be disciplinary action so uh, that's relevant to include here also. So uh, the reasons that Donald and I identified for Donald's uh, underperformance were uh, one, Donald's insufficient familiarity with HONOS, that's the more complex score that I mentioned earlier, Health of Our Nation Outcome Score. Donald is trained in it, but it still takes him too long, particularly with certain elements of the test. So Donald is actually uh, familiar with HONOS, he knows how, it's, how it works, he's actually done the training, um, but we identified that in practice it really takes him longer than it should, and sometimes he feels he's too busy, he has to see the next patient, and he hasn't had time to do that. Um, I'll mention in the next slide how we chose to address that issue. Um, uh, point two is that Patrick has perhaps not sufficiently explained and or Donal has not sufficiently understood the use and importance of GCOS scores to the first step program. This has led to a lack of focus and motivation on this deliverable, on this KPI. So uh, the GCOS is something that we require in-house. It's not for Medicare reporting purposes and uh, we identified that, that Donald doesn't exactly understand how it fits into the whole workflow, how the performance appraisal, what it's necessary for. So we identified that as a, an area that needed development. And number three, uh, Donald is still somewhat unfamiliar with how data, like GCOS scores and HONOS scores, are collected and processed on the database at the First Step Program. Donald feels that a better understanding of this process would positively impact his performance, although this is not the biggest issue. So this was... Uh, assessed as being a sort of, uh, not as significant as the other two, but a, but a factor nonetheless that he would like to have a greater understanding of how these scores are recorded, how they're evaluated, how it all uh, fits in together. So we uh, put together a performance development plan um, during a coaching session, which uh, addresses the three points from the previous slide. Uh, one being improved facility with generating HONOS scores. So we mentioned that I mentioned that uh, it seems to take him a bit too long and that discourages him from doing it as often as he should. So we suggested uh, three sessions of practicing putting the HONOS score together supervised by the head nurse. So the head nurse would be sitting into the sessions, will listen to what was said, uh, will supervise the generation of the HONOS and then also coach uh, Donald afterwards on uh, how he feels, Chris being the head nurse, how he feels Donald went with, um, not the session generally, but particularly the development of the HONOS and maybe give him any tips in uh, becoming more accurate and more efficient with that particular process. Uh, the second skill would be an improve, improved awareness of the organisational importance of GCOS and HONOS reporting. So we identified here that uh, he really should sit down with the clinic manager, uh, um, whose name is Hayden, and for Hayden to just have a, a fairly informal chat with him about uh, why we're we measuring these scores, why we think they're important, why they're important to getting the nurse paid, for instance, and why they're important to Medicare and why they're important to us, the statistics that we generate uh, from the production of those scores, the recording and the analysis, the data analysis. Uh, both those things were identified as a high priority, so the training, the practice sessions with the head nurse as well as the session with the clinic manager. And third, an increased understanding of how data is collected and reported on the database. So we uh, said there was one training session with a coordinator of special projects, who happens to be me. Uh, with Donald, this is a medium priority that I sit down and explain to him honestly a little bit about how databases work, um, uh, where the scores fit into the whole machinery. He's a very curious person. He likes to understand how things work. So we thought that a, a session looking at that might just help keep him uh, motivated and... Um, yeah, motivated. That was identified as being of medium significance. We set a date uh, for the attaining of those skills. All those three uh, items on the performance development plan uh, were carried out, uh, and we all think they were carried out very successfully. On the second performance appraisal, uh, Donald had much improved uh, actuals uh, compared to his KPIs. On the recording of global clinical outcome score, the GCOS, where we were aiming for 90%, Donald had at the second appraisal achieved 85%. So that's, um, I think, 40% higher than the previous time and just a tiny bit short of the KPI. Uh, on the HONOS score, or Health of a Nation Outcome score, 
um, where he was required to do that for 90% of his patients within the first three consultations. Donal had actually done it for 92%, so he actually uh, exceeded the KPI. That was very satisfying. We identified during the coachings that um, it, would, it wasn't really going to be a huge problem for him. He just needed to prioritise and have a slightly better understanding of how all these things worked, skill up a little bit, and he'd be able to achieve the KPIs. Uh, and the second appraisal indicates that that, that, that assessment was correct. Uh, he's still 5% short on the recording of the GCOS scores, and our performance development plan there was... Um, to uh, understand how GCOS score can be generated for all consultations, not just face-to-face -face consultations. This includes uh, consultations with a patient over the phone and indeed also a consultation with uh, another team member within the clinic or an external uh, team member. So if someone else, a doctor for instance in another clinic is working with a patient, when a donor uh, talks to that doctor over the phone about the care of this particular patient, that a GCOS score can be ended for that too, based on the understanding of the two of them uh, on, of how the patient's travelling. Uh, so after that session uh, with the head nurse, um, he easily exceeded the KPI on the, the third occasion. It's not in the PowerPoint, but that was also over 90%. So in summary, um, I think the KPIs were good. Um, I wouldn't say they were brilliant because they don't reflect really the quality of the work. But I've tended to find that when people are doing the correct documentation, when they're going through the processes, you at least have a fairly good indication that they're being conscientious on that level. And that tends to indicate that they're probably conscientious on the level of more significant things like uh, patient outcomes. So the KPIs uh, were indeed attainable. Uh, the a performance appraisal process was very effective. We got the data back very clearly on whether the KPIs were being met or not. We managed to identify uh, what the problems were. We managed to put uh, training and coaching in place that uh, addressed those KPIs. We saw significant improvement and the, the whole performance management process was a considerable success.